That was gay. Or, Where's he going? Oh, Jesus. This is Bobby, Lucas, Travis, Davo, I'm Roger, and we're Relic. Back in the summer of 05, uh, one of my old bands broke up and I was interested in getting a new project started and uh, I put a post online and Dave responded and we started jamming and it just kept snowballing from there and now here we are. How did it feel to play with Papa Roach? Well, it was a great feeling. It was uh, the biggest crowd we've ever played to and uh, got to play with a couple great bands and it really, uh, it's really a good experience for everybody. Uh, recording the single inside was a very long process. It actually took a lot more time than I think any of us really expected. Uh, we went in there with a very, very rough product and uh, our producer Tony just totally Totally changed a lot of things around, but uh, but he was very very insightful in everything that we had to say, um, and I think that we definitely got the best product that we best possibly could have uh, going up there to Spider Studios. I kind of feel like I had the toughest job going into there because we started and basically we can't do anything until the drums are done. And when we first started, we had you know like like he said a real rough product to start with, and you know I remember Tony actually yelling at us at a few points, and you know we had to like really really think for a minute and just, just try to pull it together and I, I kind of felt like all the weight was on me for a while because these guys couldn't even start until I had my tracks completely done. But uh, once we got going with it, he, he really, I, I think, got a really good performance out of us and I think we're real happy with uh, the result of that. It's actually quite funny because I sat there for about a day and a half watching drums and guitars being recorded and he had all this advice for, you know, some drum fills, drum parts, and uh, just all around recording of the instruments um, and then halfway through the second day he goes okay it's time for keys and electronics and, uh, and nothing. <laughs> I basically went in there played my parts and he's like cool and uh, so it wasn't that exciting for me but I love the outcome of the whole product and uh, we actually did a lot of pre-production like while we were like in the studio I mean he didn't come down help us out or help us plan anything so we just kind of went up there with our ideas and he kind of did that and now that's how we have it. My part wasn't, I didn't do a whole lot, I just played through my part. He changed a few things but it was it was pretty cool, just added little fills from the bass. But the best part was towards the end we started getting loopy and Dave was just doing uh, his vocals and we started just doing stupid shit. I think we actually have, we, we have a, a video of that. We have a video of uh, us going to get Chinese food. And it was, uh, it's bad. It was delicious. Is he ordering? The Wahoo house, by the way. Come on, Chinese Vietnamese. Turn that to the web every row. Ten minutes. You leave now, you're already late. I, I was not knowing that uh, Bradford was sitting in the control room recording through the big glass pane in the, uh, the vocal booth where I was dancing like a 13 year old girl. Um, yeah, yeah it's, 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 good. it's kind of frightening, so uh, enjoy that. And I think the part that makes it all worthwhile is we spent that whole weekend listening to like the same second and a half clip over and over while he's editing, you know, a snare drum hit or a bass note here and there. And uh, I think it all came together when, uh, when West Dallas played it for us on Rock on the Floor and basically all of the valley got to hear it. And, I think at that point is when we realize, you know, I think we really did something with this. I was about this the day he lost his virginity. We're going to go ahead and play their brand new song. This is inside exclusively on Rock World 4 for Relic. This summer we're going to be recording our EP. It's either going to be five or six tracks to, uh, still to be determined. Uh, we think everyone's going to really love it. There's some stuff that no one's heard yet. Um, except us, obviously. Uh, and we don't really you know each other's parts yet uh, as a whole. So it's really come together and uh, look forward. RelicNation.com, MySpace.com, slash And uh, thanks for coming.